Greetings, salutations, guys. Hayden here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you're all doing fantastic. Today we are in Orange County. Uh, we're in the city of Anaheim, and we're at a Goodwill called Rare, which is a Goodwill boutique where they have uh, well, they pretty much handpick all the items that go in here. Things are new, designer, and stuff like that. So let's go inside and see what we can find. Oh, but this is what the store looks like. It looks really cool. It's like all glass and steel and stuff. Let's check it out. I'm looking at the case really quick. There's like some wallets. Uh, looks like Coach, a Dooney, Michael Kors, cool little kid shoes. There's, oh, these Kate Spade shoes in the box. Makeup palette and then a bunch of belts and sunglasses. Oh, is that a, I think that's a Coach passport holder. Alrighty, I'm looking through the bags. This is an Isaac Mizrahi. The leather actually feels pretty nice on that. That's pleather. Uh, fossil bag. Uh, that almost looks like a Tory Burch, but it's not. This like a Ralph Lauren? It is Lauren by Ralph Lauren, but that is damaged. This little Kate Spade wallet is kind of cute. How much is it though? $6.99. Oh, the inside is like torn. This one's a coach. It has like indentations. Oh, the color on this is really pretty. Um, that might come out. The wallet's actually super cute though. This one's 10 bucks. I kind of like this one, TBH. What do you guys think? $10, this little wristlet. I like the rainbow colors, I think. It is dirty, but maybe it can be cleaned off more. You guys, how cute is this? Okay, so it's $8. And these are like, they're little shot glasses. This is actually restoration hardware. It still has like the little restoration hardware sticker underneath. So this is probably really expensive. I keep hearing something that's like a music box, but I keep thinking it's this, but it's not this. Um, this would just be cute for propagation. I can put little plants in there, so like no one in my family drinks at all, like alcohol-wise, so, but really cute, right? I think I'm gonna get this. Where is that sound coming from? Something in here. Anyway, yeah, I think I am gonna get this, it's so cute. All right, how cute is this little jewelry box? I love like the Tiffany blue color. It looks very like pottery varnish. It has like a little thing for, what is this for? I don't know, rings? There's little pockets, it's only four bucks. Um, oh, it is pottery barn. Nice. This is actually really cute. Maybe I will get this. This is a crystal Durand bowl. There's one here for 65 bucks on eBay. It's actually really pretty, but I don't know. These little kids look haunted, like children of the corn haunted. Alright you guys, we are back at the house and <laughs> um, I apologize profusely because I set out today to um, try and film some thrifting videos for you guys and I just went to one store, my battery died and yeah, so I, did <laughs> I didn't film anymore. Um, you, you, might have, you might have seen it or we'll see it on Instagram. But I'm gonna show you guys what I ended up getting because I got some really, really great stuff. And let me start off with the stuff that you guys did see when we went over to Rare, which was the only place I was able to film in before my camera died. And I don't know what is wrong with me. I think it's because I haven't been filming like anything for like the past like week because I kind of have taken a little break because <laughs> it's just been so crazy this year, like, the, like December out of control, but um, I am back to thrifting and I just need to get back in the grind. I don't know what happened to me. I just didn't charge anything. I left my other battery at home and it was charging in the charging thing in the wall. And the one that was in my camera was like literally dead. So uh, I did end up getting, this is that restoration hardware um, shot glass holder and it is pretty. It was only $7.99. Um, it still has the little restoration hardware sticker thing on the bottom. I need to look this up and see how much this probably was. 
But this is the hand over vodka chill. So um, I think the way this works is that like you you can actually open this thing up right here, and then you like put ice inside, and then you can put your whatever your beverage is that you you're gonna drink inside of here, and it'll keep it cold. So there's that. But I'm I don't know if I'm okay. I'll I'll. Put it up in one of the live sales and see if anyone's interested. Otherwise, I'm probably going to end up using this thing for plants. Uh, probably as a little propagation station. I think it'd be really, really cute, right? Like, that would be really fun. Also, um, my sweater. Like, <laughs> I thrifted this. I don't, I don't even remember when I thrifted it. But um, this is, like, the design of the sweater. Like, it kind of looks like I was, like, sweating or something. I don't know. But it's supposed to be, like, distressed. I don't know. I love this sweater though. Like the feel of this sweater is really nice and I really like how warm it is. But let me know what you guys think about this. Like I was thinking about just dyeing the sweater like black again or just, I don't know. Should I just keep this as is? I have no clue. Anyway. Oh, I also got, okay. I got this pair of Kate Spade shoes. These were inside the, the glass case. Um, when we first went to the store. They are the Bunton in Dark Tawny Split Suede. Um, but yeah, Kate Spade. These were $30. Um, a little bit more than I would normally like, like to spend, but the shoes are like in brand, like they're like brand new condition. I feel like they might've been maybe worn once or just like tried on or something, but they are in this really nice, suede leather and they are nice and clean they're a size nine and it has the box it has some of the paper still inside of there and yeah i i never find shoes with their box still really so this is pretty cool and yeah so i picked up these little shoes kate spade size nine if anyone's interested <laughs> let me know but um yeah the box is a little dirty but maybe i can clean it up Right? I think it was just dirty, like, inside the case, maybe, and, like, dusty or something. But, um, oh, okay, and then I ended up getting, this was, um, by, like, the register, and I saw it as I was checking out, and this is a brand new Kate Spade beanie. I got this for $9.99. It still has the tag attached is where they put oh and yeah the price was like removed uh it was probably like a gift or something that someone didn't want maybe i don't know but it is a beanie and this beanie has eyeballs and it has like this they're also they're jeweled eyeballs and these are feathers so i don't know that's really cute uh yeah so i picked this guy up um what do you guys think I don't even want to try it on because I feel like I would stretch it out because my head is so large. It's, oh, it says hats off. How cute is that? Uh, oh, it's wool. Yeah, it's 100% wool and feathers. So I kind of want to try it on, but I don't. I'm not going to. I don't want to stretch it out. I already know that I'm already gonna, I'm gonna like look so ridiculous wearing that thing. Okay, so those were the three things that I got over at Rare. Oh, and then, okay. Before I went out to Rare, I actually went to Lineage Trading first. And I only picked up one item, and it was this coach bag. Um, it was a little bit expensive, though. It was like $95. But this style is, like, really popular. It's the tabby. And I really like the color. It's, like, this grayish-blue color. And, yeah, it's just a little dirty. I don't know if you can see the marks that are right there. Um... But it's the exterior. The exterior is a little... I feel like I can just clean it off. Like, that stuff was coming off with my nail. And there's, like, a couple, like, little marks on here. It still has the hang tag. Crossbody strap is adjustable. Well, not adjustable. It's removable. Um, you could, like, tie it up, though, if you wanted it to be a little bit shorter. Or you can attach a different chain to it or a strap. It has a nice big back pocket. This is more like a wallet on a chain, too, which is really nice. And it has, like, all these built-in card slots. There's a zipper pocket right here, which is fantastic. Um, it still has the little, the, you see that little piece of styrofoam paper? That's like the part that goes underneath the little, um, what is that called? The Creed tag inside. So yeah, it still has the little stickers too on the hardware so it doesn't scratch. Um, there's a front pocket right there too. 
and you can just remove the strap and then you can use this as like a clutch or a large wallet so I, I feel like it's pretty versatile and it's a really pretty color I really like this color and yeah so I'm pretty sure I can just clean it up pretty easily I feel like maybe like another bag was just like rubbing up against it and just left like a little mark there are like some marks right there too probably just from handling it but I'm pretty confident most of it will it most if not all of it will just come out and then it'll look really really good plus it's a really great everyday bag and then perfect from like day to night you can throw this inside like your purse and then just use it um, when you're like like if you're going to work and you're gonna go out to lunch really quick you can just take this with you, you don't have to take your whole bag so pick this up this was really cute and then I went to another store they don't actually, they don't actually allow filming in there um, so I didn't film inside but it's called Anaheim thrift if you guys are ever over in Anaheim um, I got a couple little baggy bags um, first one is this Rebecca Minkoff this is just a black Rebecca Minkoff satchel nice little zippered pockets on the front it has the little belted details on the sides and then it just has one interior zipper pocket right inside of there uh it's missing the crossbody strap though unfortunately but it does have the little attachment um i was gonna say they're deer rings but they're like in the shape of triangles so it's little triangle rings and i mean it's black leather with silver hardware so uh pretty easy to find a matching strap that would go with it or you can do like a cool contrasting strap too you can do a uh, fun different colored leather or you can even do like a cool guitar strap i think that'd be really great and i got this for like ten dollars so there's that i do love rebecca minkoff bags and this leather on this is so soft so I really, really like it. And it's a good size too. Then up next, um, this one is a Amy Kestenberg little phone bag. So you put your phone inside here and then just like snap the little thing back there. Um, I think my phone actually does fit inside of here too. Yeah, my phone like fits inside and then you can snap it closed. It even still has like the little hole right there if you have a phone that has the thumbprint on it and this was only two dollars and 99 cents so the crossbody strap it is adjustable and it is removable and um there also is a great zipper pocket back here which has built-in card slots so if you wanted to just use this kind of like as a wallet you can definitely do that and then just remove the straps and then you don't even have to take your phone out of the bag to use it because it has like the little holes for uh, make sound and all that stuff and then you can do the touch screen through the plastic and then you have like a built-in wallet in the back and then you're good to go so definitely very versatile as well and I love the color it's like this really nice like almost like a cobalt blue right with silver hardware I think that's a good combo then this is the last bag that I got over there and this one is a Marc Jacobs and I got this one kind of just like an as is um, handbag rehab bag if anyone wanted to try a handbag rehab um, this would be a pretty good one um, it's actually not in bad condition at first glance like this looks like it has like some big scratches in it but um, this is actually the edge coating off of probably this actual bag um, some of the edge coating on the side probably just like melted off and stuck to the leather right there um, I'm pretty sure with just a little bit of elbow grease um, maybe a little bit of cleaner that'll just come right out and then it'll look pretty good um, this bag though does not have like a crossbody strap or anything it's just a top handle though the top handle is long enough so you can carry the bag on your shoulder and if you really wanted you can attach a crossbody strap onto here just put them in the rings attached to the strap and then you have this nice big front pocket the top zips and then inside is actually not in bad shape it's actually pretty clean in there there's a zipper pocket and then two open pockets in the interior and zipper okay the zipper could use a little tlc but um, a quick tip for the zipper is first thing I like to do. There's a couple different things that you can do with sticky zippers like this. Um, but the first thing that I like to do is to try to clean it off first. Because sometimes like over time, there'll be like buildup on the zipper. And the way to clean that off is if you just get a little bit of um, aluminum foil like you use like in the kitchen like for your food. Just kind of like ball it up. You don't need a lot. Just ball it up and then um, just 
rub that against the zipper when it's closed like this and then do it again when it's open on each side and that'll kind of like pull off any of the ex like the debris and build up that's on there and then you can try that usually that works really well and you just need that and then if you want added um kind of like fluidity with your zipper you can come back in with a wax paper like you usually have in the kitchen like uh, for when you're baking cookies or whatever and just like rub that against the zipper and then I'll add a little bit of that wax onto there and then it'll zip and open and close really nicely um, I've also heard chapstick I've heard um, a candle like get a candle and kind of like rub that against there too so lots of different things essentially they're all pretty much the same thing some sort of like wax something to increase the um, ease of your zipper so and this one was four dollars and 99 cents i do hate that they put the uh uh that's always such a depressing thing they they staple it onto the leather though um it is not like once you get it out and you kind of like play with the leather a little bit it's like it almost disappears right like you could barely 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 even see it sometimes you don't even see it at all but um yeah this is like whenever they have like the the less expensive bags at that store they staple the like they staple the leather sometimes and that's kind of like kind of sad uh but like they have bags too behind the register at that store and those just have like the regular tags that they don't staple on which is nice but those bags are generally more expensive so it's kind of like a give and take i don't know uh it's like when the goodwill writes the prices inside of the bag with a sharpie or something and sometimes they'll write it on the actual leather which is like ugh. so okay so those are those things all right okay and then okay i'm gonna save like my favorite bag of the day for last but i have to show you guys this uh, I went to a Goodwill, and this was the one in Anaheim off of Euclid. There used to be another Goodwill off of Anaheim and State College. That was like, like my favorite Goodwill. It was so good. I used to go to that one all the time. Unfortunately, they closed it down, but it's but they they it closed, but they're moving it. So it's not technically like it closed down for uh, for good. They're just moving locations. Um, but I think they said they weren't opening it until April, so I have a ways to wait. But the new location is supposed to be a bigger store, and that store was already pretty large in and of itself. Uh, so I think it's one of the largest ones in the area. I think it might have been the second largest one, only second to the flagship store. So it was a large location. Now it's going to be even bigger, so that's, that's very exciting. The only thing is I think it's a little bit further away um from like the area that i normally like to go to but i don't know we'll see but check this out you see all these all these goodies it's so good okay hold on i'm gonna show you guys what's in here i haven't even like unwrapped it but first thing <laughs> i got this for john my brother this is one punch man if anyone knows what i'm talking about it's an anime comment down below if you read slash watch one punch man I've seen all of the animes on, like that, like the episodes. Uh, I haven't read any of the manga though, but John reads and watches. And this cup is really funny. So that's One Punch Man. It just says okay. This was only ninety nine cents. So how could I say no? I think I'm gonna try and save that until his birthday, which is in February. So I don't have to save it for too long. But I always think I'm gonna save stuff for people's birthdays or. Christmas or whatever and it's always really hard for me to do it <laughs> I just want to give it away already like I want to give it to the person already because I'm just like so excited um I don't know I, I get like I don't know I, I love gifting things to people and um yeah but okay up next these are so stinking cute these are little anthropology cups um okay so this uh the this cup I, I got a couple of them so this was 199 it's literally brand new still it still has the anthropology paper sticker on there so you know they haven't even washed it because if you wash these things the stickers like they just fall off because they're just paper and they're not like very um re resilient against water so but how cute is this cup it's adorable. I love the print. And then inside it also has a print too. And look at the handle. I love the anthropology cup handles. And when you hold it, you kind of hold it like this. 
So it's perfect, even has a little thing to rest your finger on. Um, this is probably for like espresso or tea or something because it is a smaller cup. So like in comparison, like this is almost like a regular size cup, I guess. And there's that size comparison. So it is very small, but it is very, very cute. And I got a few of these. They wrapped them up really nicely too at the store, which I really appreciate. I really love that. So thank you for doing such a good job. Um, yeah, these were originally $8 at the store. Uh, see what else it says under. Ugh, never mind. It's okay. It's hard to take off those stickers right now. And then um, I also they also came in this colorway too, which I think is really cute. It's like a teal and a yellow and a gray. Isn't that fun? So here's like the two. So cute. Very cute. And these, um, all the cups were the same price. They were like $2.99? $1.99. All $1.99. Also, um, I don't know what it is, but they, like the Goodwill, if you're watching Goodwill, thank you so much <laughs> for pricing your mugs cheaper. These are $1.99. Um, I don't know, you, like before, whenever like it was like if a mug said anthropology on it, they were like always oh, priced them like at $3.99, $4.99. So I appreciate them being only $1.99. Here's another orange one. So we got one, two, three, four oranges. And oh, here's the other one. Okay, so we got uh, two of the, the teal and yellow and then four of the orange and red. Oh wait, hold on, no. Here's the other one. I totally forgot that. Okay, there was three of these blue or teal and yellow ones. There you go. So that's actually pretty cool. I got seven. Um, it would have been perfect if I had four of each, but thrifters can't be choosers, right? Okay, then up next, okay, so these are like all anthropology pretty much. I got this plate right here. This is only $1.99. And it has a bird on it, and then it's yellow background. Really, really pretty. And this one is actually one that I already own. So now I have two of these. So these are from like this like bird collection that they did. This one's with $1.99. So I actually already have one of these plates. So now I'm gonna have two of these. Well, oh, just the blue one. So I'm gonna have two of the blue one. And then this is the last plate that I got, and this is the red one. So, got three plates, but this is great because now I have a set of four of these plates, even though two of them are the same, but it's cool. Like, this is, um, oh, I forgot what kind of bird this is. I can't remember any of the bird names right now. <laughs> it's funny because I was uh, just talking to a few of you guys in Discord before I started filming, and we were talking about, uh, like, different animals and pets and stuff like that. We had like this whole talk about different birds, uh, parrots, cockatoos, cockatiels, and yeah, it was so much fun. And we were sending each other like cute TikToks of animals. Um, and then I got this bowl. So I love, I love anthropology bowls so much. I feel like they're so pretty. And it says fabulous inside, which is my favorite part about it. And it has these, I, it's coming up kind of more red on camera, but it's like a reddish purple. It's really fun and pretty. Um, I think, oh yeah, this one was $2.99. There's a the price right inside. And yeah, such a nice little bowl. And this one was very, very exciting. Uh, I got this awesome baking dish, also Anthropology. Okay, it still has the sticker on there. So again, not used. This was $48, $12.99. So, very cool. It matches uh, the cup. So, I mean, we can bake like oh, cinnamon rolls inside of this. Can you imagine like cinnamon rolls? It would be so good. And then enjoy like a little cup of espresso with your cinnamon roll. Ah, uh, so good. I think mom's gonna do some baking tomorrow too. So this is literally gonna be perfect. Maybe she'll wanna use this. And I'm... <laughs> I was like looking at these and like, do they look like little baseballs to you? Like they're baseballs, right? Like I think it's like the little things on the sides, like they look like stitching like on a baseball. 
but I'm sure like they didn't mean for them to be baseballs, but I feel like for, to me, they just look like baseballs. So I'm just gonna call them orange baseballs. Um, okay, and then I got one more thing, and this was my favorite item that I found, and it is this beautiful Marc Jacobs. Uh, this is like a wallet on a chain. Um, this is a Marc Jacobs collection too, which is crazy. So this was $7.99. It's been kind of heavily loved. You can see that the corners kind of stick up a little bit on the sides. I'm gonna see if we can help kind of like flatten that back down a little bit. Um, so Marc Jacobs collection is actually no longer being made. Um, Marc Jacobs discontinued that line, but Marc Jacobs collection was kind of like his high end line. They were uh, all made, well, not all of them, but most of those bags were made in Italy. Price points much, much higher. Um, this probably retailed for, I wanna say around 700-ish dollars probably. And this is black lambskin leather, gold hardware. The quilting is beautiful. The leather is so soft. And this snaps right there. It's actually the chain too, the strap is removable and it's part chain, part leather. So you can just use this as a large wallet as well. And this just needs a little TLC. There's a little color loss right there. $7.99, can you believe that? It's amazing. The interior um, a needs a little bit of a cleaning. Not too crazy though. We got some built-in card slot. This is one of like the original little things that are inside the pockets to kind of like protect them or help them keep their shape when you purchase it. A uh, fart compartment, there's a zipper pocket right here as well that does need clean. There's also a toothpick still inside of there. Um, snap, closure, and back zipper pocket. Like this, this was loved, but it has so much life left and so much more to love. So such a great wallet, again, $7.99. Like this is like a $700 wallet on a chain and eight bucks. And I think just a little bit of TLC and we can get this looking really, really good. They also did write the price and that's what I was talking about. Like they write in Sharpie on the bags and sometimes on the leather, but it's black leather. So it'll be easy to remove this with a little rubbing alcohol that'll come right out and any color that gets removed, we can easily just touch it up with black dye. And we're gonna have to touch up this whole thing anyway. Look at how much the corners have kind of like been bent. So, I mean, it still is a great wallet. This is easy to remove too. You just like kind of click that and then that opens up and then you can just pop it out through the little loops. But yeah, so this one is gonna be a cool, a hopefully good, cool like before and after transformation. But this is like another one, just like the Coach, like wallet on a chain, it's fantastic. Definitely can go from day to night, from your bag. This one is a great little cross body, right? It's a good length too. A really, really cute bag, right? <laughs> Not me trying it on. Yeah, I, I do love a like wallet on a chain moment. Okay, let me try on the other one. This one has a much longer strap as well. I wonder if you can adjust the length of it. Oh, but like I said, you can like kind of just tie this into a knot. Hold on, it's stuck in my hood. I feel like there is a way to shorten this somehow. Can I just like move this thing up or something? I honestly have no clue. But you can just do a little of this, a little bit of that. And then now it is much shorter. So, or you can just use a different chain too. It has little D rings on the side. Um, Coach also sells um, different length chain straps too for your bag. So you can match it exactly. But there you go. Anyway, that is going to end today's video. Hope you guys had fun checking out all the stuff that I got. I promise I will be better at filming things. Um, but don't forget to follow me on Instagram and soon to be TikTok as well. And then you can follow along um, on there also. And yeah, all that stuff is going to be down below in the description box. The live sales for the month of January when you guys are... Actually, you're probably going to see this in December still. Um, those will be up already so you can uh, check out the schedule and don't forget that if you guys can't make any of the live sales you can always watch uh, the sales after they end and then you can see what's available items in the description items will be in the description box after the lives happen so you'll know um, what's there prices and availability and just email me 
uh, if you have any questions or like to purchase anything. Um, but yeah, when you watch this also, uh, if you're watching after New Year or before, Happy New Year. Um, wishing you health and prosperity and happiness for the new year. 2023 is going to be so exciting. I cannot believe how much we grew this past year. 2022. I think 2023 is going to be amazing, so I can't wait to continue on with you guys in 2023. Um, yeah, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Alright, bye guys! <laughs>